Welcome to Taviuni. Taviuni, otherwise known as the Garden Island, is home to some of Fiji's most spectacular sites. With world-class marine life in the Rainbow Reef, incredible waterfalls, thrilling natural water slides, and pristine beauty everywhere you look, Taviuni really is the perfect island getaway. This stunning island, in our opinion, is a must-see when visiting Fiji. Come with us to experience paradise and see why this tiny island in the South Pacific should be on your travel bucket list. Our adventure to Taviuni began in the Nandi International Airport. We suspected we would be on a small plane, but we had no clue just how small it was going to be. As the doors closed, our small group of six were the only ones on the plane. We were ecstatic as we literally had this 12 passenger propeller plane all to ourselves. We felt like VIPs or like we were in a movie or something. The co-pilot told us the safety procedures and within minutes we hurtled down the only runway in the domestic portion of the airport. To our surprise, cruising altitude for the flight was well below the clouds and provided a picturesque view of Fiji's many islands throughout the entire flight. This definitely was a time when we weren't upset that there was no in-flight entertainment. After one of the most beautiful hour and 15 minutes of our lives, we touched down on the Garden Island. After arriving, we walked across the street to our slice of paradise for the next two days. We stayed at an Airbnb named Valle Sicola, which was absolutely gorgeous. The views from the back pool made us question our plans to go out and adventure over the next two days as we didn't want to leave. After enjoying a beautiful night at our Airbnb, we hit the hay early, excited for our full day adventure the next day. The first thing we set out to do on our first full day in Taviuni was experience some of the incredible marine life we had heard all about. As Rachel and I are scuba certified, we chose to go scuba diving, but we had been told you can get a similar experience snorkeling at the Waitabu Nature Reserve which is a protected coral reef just off the coast of Taviuni. After a quick 10 minute bus ride over to the dive shop and a five minute water taxi over to the dive boat, we were briefed for our dive and ready to go. We went with Taviuni Ocean Sports and it was an incredible experience. Our dive masters were friendly and so knowledgeable and the marine life was absolutely out of this world. We were told that Fiji is located on the meridian. Because of this, our occurrence have provide the ideal environment for marine diversity. Our guides shared that Fiji has some of the most marine biodiversity in the world, along with a few other places like the Philippines and Indonesia. These reefs are known for their incredible scuba diving and for good reason. We really don't have words to describe this incredible experience, but would highly recommend it to anyone who has the opportunity. The next stop in our adventure to Taviuni was the famous Buma Waterfalls. The Buma Waterfalls are a series of waterfalls along a 5 km trail near the town of Buma. It takes about 45 minutes to get there from the airport on a mostly dirt road. While it might seem like a trek to get out there, it is every bit worth it. We hired a minibus which took our whole group of six there, waited while we were at the waterfalls, and drove us back for around 60 US dollars. Okay, where are we going? Buma Waterfalls. Yes, we're going to Buma Waterfalls, which should be awesome. We're just trekking on this dirt road right now. Are you excited, Des? <laughs> Ready for some backflips. Backflip town. Should be sweet. Yeah, to the first pool, that's a 10 minutes walk. Okay. It's just an easy walk. Most of the treks we have concrete footpaths. From the first to the second, it's a 40 minutes walk. Oh, it's okay. a bit steep. As you can see, the control lines are close to each other. And up to the third waterfall, and that's another 40 minutes walk. Mm. Okay. So it's a 10, 40, 40, and 
40. Oh. All right, we're heading to the first falls. There's three falls. This one's like a 10 minute walk and it's mostly paved, so it shouldn't be too bad. The walk to the first waterfall was absolutely beautiful with well-groomed greenery and flowers throughout the path. The first waterfall was beautiful and honestly a perfect waterfall to relax and have fun at. With an easy climb up to a small cliff jump and temperate water temperatures, it really was the perfect way to cool off after our walk in the hot Fijian sun. Nick, how was waterfall number one? Probably the coolest waterfall I've been to. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty good. After about 40 minutes, we made our way to the next waterfall, which as warned, was a pretty steep hike. We're just trekking to waterfall number two, uh, literally going through the jungle. So excited to see what it looks like based on waterfall number one since it was awesome. Because we're doing stair steppers here. Yeah, true. No, no, no gym needed. You have your natural gym in the forest here. While walking through the incredible foliage, the word that kept coming to mind was abundance. We really enjoyed this hike and the views to the next waterfall, though I did not enjoy all the bugs. What do you think, love? Wow, uh, it's really big. It's like a totally different waterfall. It's really beautiful. Waterfall number two was beautiful and refreshing, but there was no place to cliff jump from. Regardless, if you're up for a little bit of a workout, we would definitely recommend taking the trek to waterfall number two. So we made it to waterfall number two, and unfortunately due to timing, uh, we had to turn around. So we're headed back down. Uh, waterfall number two is awesome. Not quite as fun as waterfall number one, but still really great. Still great. We're sad that we're not gonna be able to see waterfall number three, but uh, the, the first two were an awesome trip so far. And the hike itself is beautiful. Absolutely. I think that makes it It's worth beautiful. It. Like, look at these like cool little palm trees. We had a great time at the Booma Waterfalls and would recommend adding the falls to your Taviuni bucket list. If you want to visit all the waterfalls, we would recommend bucketing about four to five hours to make sure you have plenty of time to hike and swim without feeling rushed. We ended the day at one of the only non-resort restaurants on the island, Tremonto. Tremonto is a local Fijian restaurant with a menu that changes daily. As an appetizer, we opted to try some of the infamous kava, which tasted exactly like it looked, dirt water. Despite the bad taste, it was still a fun experience and left our mouths feeling tingly for the main course. Delicious. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, it's uh it's already worn off. You went for seconds. It looks like dirt, tastes a little bit like dirt, but I don't know. numbing yet. We'll see, we'll see. Oh I kinda feel it on my tongue now. Yeah, I actually do feel it coming on my tongue. You didn't get enough. That night it was barbecue night, and so we retreated to some local Fijian barbecue which we could smell from the moment we got out of the car. We enjoyed our meal while watching a spectacular sunset and reflecting on the incredible day we had. We woke up a little sad it was our final day in Taviuni. We started the morning with a kayak ride out to some of the beautiful little islands right off the coast. Our Airbnb provided kayaks which turned out to be one of the highlights of our trip. We were told by the locals that the two closest islands were pretty to see, but island number three was where we really wanted to go. After about 40 minutes of kayaking, we made it to the calm and secluded beach on island number three. After relaxing for a bit and enjoying the beautiful morning, we set out to do some snorkeling. The snorkeling off the coast of the third island turned out to be some of the best we have done in all of Fiji. The water was shallow, which made for a super easy float to see all of the incredible underwater beauty. After a few hours of snorkeling in the 87 degree Fijian water and relaxing on our own private beach, we made our way back to the Airbnb for our last major adventure, the infamous Sliding Rock. The Sliding Rock is located just a quick seven minute drive from the main city of Somo Somo. We were pleasantly surprised at how accessible it was given how far out we had to go for the Buma waterfalls the day before. From the parking lot, we walked a short five minutes before arriving at the destination. 
Upon arriving, we immediately began to experience the fun-loving spirit and happiness of the local Fijians. Before we even had time to put our stuff down, some of the locals were coming up to us and offering to show us how to do the water slide. While we didn't quite dare to do it standing like a lot of the locals, this natural water slide was an absolute blast. After doing it a few times ourselves, we sat back and just enjoyed the happy-go-lucky atmosphere at the sliding rocks. The locals looked like they were having the time of their lives, just living in the moment, having fun, and enjoying the beautiful Saturday afternoon. It really was a treat to experience this and imagine for a second what it might have been like to grow up on this small but beautiful island. In what felt like no time, our day was coming to an end and it was time for us to go back to our place so we could pack for our flight and get back home to the US. As we drove back to our hotel to start packing up, Rachel and I couldn't help but smile as we thought about the incredible time we had on this spectacular little island. Rachel and I both agree that if we were to go back and do Fiji all over again, we would spend one more day here to really soak up the beauty and culture. As with the rest of Fiji, the people were so kind and really added to the overall atmosphere. This combined with incredible marine life and opportunities for adventure make Taviuni a true bucket list location and somewhere that we will never forget. Hey everyone, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, we'd really appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you want to see more of our upcoming Fiji content, be sure to subscribe. As always, we hope you have an amazing day.